We have a ladies professional bout. Three rounds with a five minute time limit for each round. Fighting out of the blue corner, representing Cortland Mixed Martial Art from Cortland, New York, Janice Oscar Meyer. All righty, Nick, we have a rematch right here. I love rematches. Yep, I was actually at the, uh, the first match. It was at CES, and uh, it was a pretty back and forth bout. You know, uh, it seemed like Payant did, did great work at the beginning of the fight, and then Meyer really started to take over and started to win the fight. And then uh, we had a change of momentum, and Payan ended up taking over again and getting the finish with uh, not a lot of time left. Meyer's coach, Randy Smith, said she's been working a lot on her striking for this fight. Um, obviously working everywhere, but a, a heavy focus and on her opponent the striking. And her opponent, out of the, the red corner. Representing Team Gladiator MMA from West Springfield, Massachusetts, Sarah Soldier Payant. And she really worked on her base for this fight. Yeah, definitely uh, in the past, Sarah Payant has had a live by the shield, die by the shield style. Um, she'll go for submissions or she'll get submitted. Um, that's her style and uh, very, Fan friendly. Yeah, very, very ground uh, orientated fighter. Um, and, and their last fight was definitely a lot of groundwork. So they did a lot of work with her not getting swept and just keeping position. Um, position before submission was a big focus in this fight. Here we go a rematch. Janice looking to, for redemption, looking to redeem herself after that third round loss. She lost by choke to Sarah Payant. Did I say that correct? Uh, Payant. Payant. Mm -hmm. um, you know, good combos by Sarah out the gate. Um, Janice is someone uh, her coach said has been with the team for a very long time. Uh, almost a team leader of sorts. Uh, someone that the others look up to uh, seven years? in terms of work ethic. They've been working together for seven years. That's impressive. And uh, Sarah Payan definitely uh, well traveled, even though she's very young in her pro career. She had many amateur fights. Um, I believe was the amateur champion of Premier FC and uh, has taken it into a pro career that's given her a one in one record. Meyer still working, looking for her first win as a professional fighter um, and looking to uh, erase the loss she had in her pro debut for Sarah Payne. That's got to be a great feeling to, to beat someone that has beaten previously. You know, it just shows you you've grown as a fighter, you know? It does, it does. But also, you know, there's a lot of pressure going in if you're the person that won last time. You got to win more impressive. Yeah. Um, but it was a back and forth fight, so it's easier to win more impressive. And you also know you have what it takes to beat this person. Yeah. Um, you've already proven it once. Good point. You know, Meyer doing a great job controlling the, the wrist right here and, and pressuring against the, the cage. Um, not really landing much, but having the control. If you're controlled the fight, like you've said earlier, you're winning it. Oh, nice knee. knee. Payant, reversal. But she keeps giving up the underhooks, and it's hard to control uh, from there if, if you don't have the underhooks. For me, I have a very, very good throw. I take two steps and do a hip toss, but uh, <laughs> it's it's really a move you have to practice a lot because the timing on it is everything. Yeah, you don't want to be the one you know get thrown to your back. Yeah, if you don't get it, they can suplex you over your head. So. <laughs> So far, it's been a battle against the fence. 
fighting for position they are. It's a grind for sure. Close first round. Um, you know, I'd have to give that to Sarah Payant, the first round. Uh, not really much happened, but she did land the heavier strike. Little mistake right here. Thought it was an amateur fight. Yeah, I noticed that. That did fight. seem a little short. I was like, there's not a lot of time to make things happen. <laughs> so we're going to restart the fight, and uh, there's going to be two minutes. Still the first round. Payan hasn't won it yet. <laughs> Oops. Ooh. Nice double switches to his cycle. Nice little slide across the canvas yeah, that was right cool. there. Sarah head deep in on the on the, the double leg on her knees, but um, you know she's not taking any punishment to the head, but she's also not completing the takedown. Uh, Jesus, stand up with that single. Ooh, and finish it. beautiful back take ooh. by Janice Meyer. Is this similar to the yeah, first fight, Nick? Yeah, I mean, back and forth. These are two evenly matched competitors. I don't know how much the, the time mess up <laughs> uh, mess with either one of them, but uh, it's definitely making the, the difference because I had Sarah winning up until then. They restart, and now Janice is on top. And definitely, if she rides this one out, she's going to win this round um, because not really much happened on either side. And, and when not much happens, you have to go with the person that has the most control. Oh, arm bar. Yeah. I wouldn't say that was much of a threat. No, that, arm bar. This is the official end to round one. <laughs> yeah, that was part two of round one. <laughs> a classic. I give the first part <laughs> of round one to Sarah Payan, but round one as a whole, I'm going to give to Janice Meyer. <laughs> Big Dan Mergliato with the call, telling him to add two more minutes. Yeah. What Big Dan says goes. <laughs> Going into round two, this fight's been, it's been pretty competitive thus far. Five minutes is on the clock for the, this time. <laughs> I got the time right this time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hyatt working that clinch. Letting herself get pushed up against the and cage. Janice again. got her against the cage again. A lot of this fight has been fought there. Yeah, I mean, she Ooh, had a nice trip by Sarah. Yeah, I mean, she had the overhooks before. As soon as she got one underhook, she was able to execute her takedown. Oh, but she gets wow. rolled. Very nice. You know, this is a problem she's had in the past, is, is not maintaining the uh, position she gets. And, and giving it up, and uh, Janice was able to exploit that. Janice looking to posture up and throw throw it out some pumps. Yeah, but she Ooh. got herself caught Ooh, in an arm bar yeah. right here. Very nice setup by Sarah Payan. To get out of, if you're Janice, stab. how would you stab? Stab. She's 
She's actually, yep, Ooh, nice she's pull. Out. Very risky way to escape, but uh, a, a way that I'm also known to also <laughs> escape that way. <laughs> Janice is still on top, but now we know Sarah can threaten from the bottom. And we're here at Reality Fighting at Mohegan Sun Arena in Huntersville, uh, Connecticut. Sarah Pyant versus Janice Meyer, and Sarah Pyant is going for that armbar again. Does she got a different arm this time? <laughs> I mean, she she is not afraid to throw it up. This is a, a dangerous position, but she is kind of stacked. It's gonna be hard for her to extend her hips. But also Janice needs to watch out for when she extends her arms. She will give Sarah the, the space she needs to complete it. What Sarah has to do is pinch her knees together. Um, her her armbar attempt is too loose. It's gonna be too easy for Janice to pull herself out. Once she gets that elbow pass, see, she's out. Ooh. Sarah's in on a single. Janice, nice sprawl. Oh, nice shots by Janice. Peppered her right there. You got to make them pay while they're getting up. A beautiful example of that is when Frankie Edgar beat Gray Maynard. He oh. went for a takedown, didn't get it on the way up, caught him with some shots, finished the fight. That was spectacular. Oh, Sarah, she seems hurt. She got up slow that time. Yeah, uh, you know, a desperate takedown attempt, ate some shots, and then uh, took her time getting up because I think she remembered she got hit last time. Uh, the good thing to, to do is, is really look at your opponent, uh, you know, instead of looking away. Because that's how you get caught with a kick. Just like Ronda Rousey got comfortable that one second against Holly Holm and, and got knocked out. Yeah. <laughs> she, she turned away not thinking anything was coming and, and it came. The head kick that the whole world heard. <laughs> Oh, nice hip throw from Sarah Pan. She's got to make up for some lost time. Sarah definitely worked on that base, huh? Oh, there you go, right, right to the Same as the last fight, just back and forth, giving up position. <laughs> Both putting each other in some danger. Seconds left in the round. No matter what happens, that's gonna hurt tomorrow. I think she's gonna get out. And she's out. Wow, Ooh. that was deep. 10 seconds left. Lesser women would have tapped. Oh man. You're Rock right about part. that. But that just completely switched the momentum of the round. That to me is the equivalent of knocking someone on their butt. You know, uh, when when you get a submission that tight, that switched it up. I got it at one round apiece. Great fight thus far. She has got to start protecting her arm. Uh, the armbar attack of, of Payant has just been uh, relentless. I'm Nick Newell here with Jesse Frapler. <laughs> Stapler. <laughs> Stapler, what a death. I think it's French. That's a good that's a good nickname. <laughs> Look at that arm bar. That was that was beautiful and that was crazy tight. Third arm bar. Uh, definitely definitely uh double jointed over here. Yeah. All right, let's go. Here we go. Third round. 
Most arms and shoulders don't bend that way. Ooh, ooh, Another hip throw. cross take down. Like you said, I think the momentum is now in Sarah's favor. You know, at this point, they have 25 minutes of cage time together. And I think uh, Sarah's just done the better job of figuring out her opponent. She realized that head and arm throw works and, and just went back to what works. Yeah, yep. Janice looking for the scramble, get back to her feet. Janice was doing pretty well on the feet. She, she was connected with some nice shots earlier in the fight. Yeah, I mean, I thought she was really dominating the round um, up until she got hip tossed. And then from, from then on out, it was all pay on. And she almost finished the fight. Yeah, that arm bar was deep. I can't believe Janice was able to get out of that. Don't be surprised to see Sarah. Uh, nope, never mind. I was going to say pull guard for the guillotine. <laughs> James did a great job getting her uh, getting out. She's got to watch that toss and uh, separate and start landing some strikes. Janice has got to want this win so bad, losing the last fight in the last minute of the last round. That should tell you how competitive this fight was going to be. <laughs> and again, this is just super Ooh, close to the test. Oh, good shots. Gotta watch, she's oh, gonna get tossed oh, again. Ronda Rousey, what? Overextending on the clinch is never good. Oh, and Janice she's out. She's out, ooh. She was looking to make her pay, but Sarah got right back up and onto the single. Yeah, what would be important for Janice right now is to kick her legs back and sprawl, but Sarah's doing a good job pushing her against the cage. Um, she's in a uh, Johnny Hendricks X position with the head between the, uh, the legs so you can't absorb strikes. But when you're in that position, you're not really winning and it allows your opponent to hit you in the body and sprawl and it does not look good on the judges' scorecards. We saw what happened when he fought Robbie Lawler and basically did that the entire fight. Yeah. <laughs> She backed herself up to the cage. Not good technique, not good awareness of where you are, and Got that's her what allowed butt. her to, take and to get taken down. Nice hips getting back up, but she's gotta, what she's got to do is, is turn her back away from the cage and just kick her legs back and sprawl. Yeah. Um, Sarah's got to really try to make something happen. Drive in, try to get a lift, uh, try to get that takedown, or spin behind and, and hook the leg. A lot of this time, if you turn and you go around and, and almost try to take the back from there. Um, pushing her up at the cage works. And what, what Janice needs to do is just sprawl. Just kick her legs back and just start throwing strikes. Right there, she's creating space, but um, you know, at this point, being the victim of two throws, you gotta worry. Um, about how the judges see that, and, and really you have to try to make something big happen. Yeah. Right here, flatten her out. Ooh. This. Janice just wants to put hands on her. Yeah, and she just seems like she's just a little more fresher. Um, Sarah looks a, a, a little worn out. Um, you know, desperately going for the takedown. But, um, you know, she did have good throws, and if she gets this takedown, with a, a minute 18 left, it could win her the, the round. She moved him out relatively easily the last few times, but right here she's just eating shots and, and just yeah. letting this round and the fight slip away from her. Janice is relentless. Ooh, working her body. Body, body, head. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if she, Kevin McDonald warning about hitting to the back of the head. Because Janice got a little carried away. <laughs> Referee Kevin McDonald starting him up back in the feet. Um, you know, I think this is actually a good thing for Sarah Payan, who's in a uh, bad position, but she's got to watch out for Janice. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, rocked her. Janice looking for the finish in the last minute. Oh, this fight Down is back awesome. Up. Oh, oh, ooh, Sarah goes down again. Man, they're, Both fighters are fight. very, very fatigued, but still going for it. Oh, ooh. nice overhand right. Janice is as tough as they come. 
Holy smokes. They are swinging with Ooh, short time. Nice head kick. Here we go. Final seconds of the fight. Ooh, oh, good boy. shot from Meyer. Great fight. Great, that was awesome. Great fight. That was awesome. Swinging down to the final bell. Ooh, these women put on a show. Now, who do you think pulled this off? Do you think Janice will get her revenge with the decision? Or do you think Sarah will go 2-0 and against Janice? I'm going to have to go with Meyer in this one. Um, definitely a very close fight. Um, you know, Meyer dropped her and also had the, um, you know, just the most control of the fight, landed the most shots. Got thrown very beautifully twice, but, um, you know, didn't didn't have the control necessary to take the round. And, and uh, or she had the, Janice had the control and landed the, the bigger, better shots. That was a great fight. Action Either, pack. You know, I, I I would never argue with seeing these two fight again. Yeah. Let's make it three. Yeah. No matter what. No matter who wins. Kip, you hear that? <laughs> Let's get a rubber Ladies match. and gentlemen, while we're waiting for the judge's decision, let's give both these ladies a big round of applause. That's right. Great fight. What a great night of fights, huh, Nick? Yeah, you know, uh, we had some really good finishes, entertaining, quick finishes. And then we also have fights like these, these wars. These three-round fights that aren't boring are very entertaining. And, uh, you know, a lot of these fighters are on the come up. They want to make a name for themselves. Yeah. They want to get to, uh, you know, the UFC. They want to get to Bellator. They want to get to World Series of Fighting. They want to prove something. They want, they have to show what makes them different than other fighters. What makes them stand out? What makes them special? And they go for it. Man, what a, ooh, that, what a great speech. Man. That, that, that's what it is right there. You know, record. Ladies and gentlemen. There's Judge so many Suzanne people with great Sanidad records. It's about scores the bite what about makes you different. 29, 28, Meyer. Judge Eric Colon scores the bout 29, 28, Payon. Split decision. <laughs> it's definitely a close fight. And Judge Dave Peabody scores the bout 29, 28. For your winner, by split decision, Janice Oscar Meyer. Fantastic nickname. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely a fight that uh, that we should see again. Yeah. Uh, Payan gave her the rematch. Janice. Time for Janice to, to Janice, extend come the here. Where again. are you going? <laughs> I know. So caught. You want to head out there, gamble, drink some beers. Listen, we <laughs> got to interview you first, all right? First of all, that was an excellent fight. Give both ladies a big round of applause. I, there had to be about eight or ten times during that fight where I thought someone's gonna tap or get knocked out, and you guys kept going. So, you know, myself, the doctor, we were like, wow, this is a fantastic fight. Congratulations, first of all. Um, I'll tell you something. What won that fight for you was your sprawl. She was going after your single leg all night, and you kept defending, 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 and she just could not get it. Um, w was that the game plan, knowing her? Yeah, definitely. I mean, a big part of my training camp is always defending the takedowns because I like to stand and strike, and sometimes I get too comfortable on the ground, and in our last fight, she caught me in a really tight submission right at the end, last couple seconds, so I wanted to keep it standing as much as I possibly could this fight, so. Yeah, you kept throwing punches. She had you in an arm bar. How was that? Was that tight? No, I, I, I can fight out of arm bars pretty easy. <laughs> yeah, I saw, like, you turned your, your arm just so much that it wasn't really a straight arm bar anymore, and uh, you got out. Listen, congratulations. That was an awesome fight. All right, thank you. Give me a round of applause. What a great fight. Janice got her revenge with the split decision.